Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Redark. The Hardcore, a brand very well known for lighting and electrical accessories, has bought out their Bushmaster 4000 camper trailer. This is a camper that is quite traditional in its build. Something like this is just great. There's a whole subsection of camper trailers that this sort of thing fits right into, and this is a really neat little job. Actually, I quite like Ripstop, it's a lot lighter which is obviously a good thing in a camper from a weight point of view, but also makes it a lot easier to pack away and um, store. Tony's focus on when they designed this camper was that it was a quick setup and easy to use, and I, I really think he's got that nailed. It was conceived by a bunch of, uh, you know, electrically and, uh, and mechanically minded blokes around a campfire, and, uh, and those credentials are written all over it. How are they going to go for self-sufficiency? Although I think they're going to go pretty well. Um, this is a trailer that carries 100 litres of water, which is a pretty typical volume for these small adventure type campers. It normally comes with 200 amp hours of AGM batteries, but the one we saw had 200 amp hours of lithium. For me, the X factor is just taking it back to what campers were. Like, I really miss the simplicity of what is it that style of expedition trailer of. A box trailer with plenty of storage, an adaptable storage at that, and then being able to just you know, have a, a tent on top that you can easily repair if you need to. So it's the sort of thing you, you should be able to take bush for months on end. Yeah, I'm just really impressed with the size of the, the awning, the storm awning that comes off from the rooftop tent, sort of gives maximum coverage. And then yesterday in the rain, seeing all the water come off, flow down onto the, the, uh, the Darche awning, it was and no problems at all. Yeah, so it covers up all around the kitchen gap. Yep. Which is bloody good, and you just, just drop the poles when it's pissing down. Because that's the one space that a lot of people miss out on. There always seems to be a gap between the, the structure and the rooftop tent that allows water to come through, so I think that's a, a really good solution. I'll climb right in, eh? King size bed, hey, David. Yeah, king size. Impressed with how rigid these doors are. Doors are flexed, will move on the seals and get dusty. It's a good thing to have good stiff doors. Saying, Glenn, it's uh, unusual to see a, a nice little cavity here. Looks distinctly like it might fit a slab to me. What do you reckon? It's a pretty uh, impressive looking kitchen, this one all round. We've got some, some good storage in here for cutlery. We've got some little hangers here for your dirty spatulas. And up the back here, no worries at all. Look at the size of this pantry. And if that's not enough, I'm pretty sure there's another one in here. Well, it's certainly that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Fair to hoard with all the storage you've got in there. With that volume of storage and the electrical gear that's in it, and with a five-year structure warranty, I'm you know, pretty confident that um, people should feel confident owning a hardcore. Now, Kath, what do you think its intended purpose is? Who's going to buy it and what was innovative about it? Well, it was pretty clear who was going to buy this in terms of the intended group. Look, this is people who want some hardcore travelling up to the Cape. It's targeting young blokes, couples, maybe even retirees who want a quick setup and a simple to use camper. And as you said, although this is a pretty traditional uh, setup, a couple of things stood out. The key thing with these guys is these are, as you said, hardcore, well known for electrical components. So the things bristling with lights, LED lights here and there, the electronic system makes this highly adaptable. As a, as a little package, this is what I, I call an adventure camper. It's for people who want to go off-road in really tough environments, pretty where it's lots of close trees, tight scrub, short, sharp little creeks. Being lightweight at uh, 1,050 kilos, certainly be towed behind a smaller SUV up to the Cape. Had good independent suspension uh, using 50 millimeter bore Petters shocks, which uh, again increases its off-road ability. 